Hello, I'm Lucy and I paint with beads. Now the very nice people at Genome in the UK have sent me some uh, pieces to review. So I thought I would have a go at trying them out and share my findings with you. So they sent me a range of needles, um, some special sewing machine feet, some threads and a carrier bag for the sewing machine here. So I've got some red tip needles which are great for top stitch, some normal needles, some blue tipped needles which are good for difficult and synthetic fabrics, some purple tip needles which are good for stretch fabrics and quilts and then coming onto the feet I have a fringe foot which I've never tried, uh, also a ribbon and sequin foot and the best thing of all I think is the circular attachment which uh, by all accounts you can do perfect circles even on a machine like this um, which is not a fully blown embroidery machine um, but you can do an awful lot with it. Also sent me some threads so these are specific bobbin threads to go with the embroidery so again allegedly and I will test this out if you use this particular bobbin thread it is finer um, and should give you less less of a thickness and less puckering if you have it on your material so I will test that out as well so I'm looking forward to trying all those out the first thing I'm going to try though is the bag that um, this this is a carrying case sewing machine bag um, by genome so I have the bag out of the bag and let's see how it works open that flap and here we have a handle and carrying strap and it's possibly going to be better for me to just stand up and, and do this and put the machine in it oh, I can see it's got some great padding really good padding and on the base here really really strong sturdy material so this is not going to bend okay so I can just get that bit ready for now of course it's all stiff it's all brand new it's been folded up so it's going to be a struggle probably um, to start with I'm going to take off my little pin cushion which is a cute little thing and um, I'm sorry I'm going to have to stand up and try and put this in just manhandle it okay so put that in like so and then rotate it over push it in and it slots into position really uh, really neat I'm going to hold that up and we can do the zippers around here let's see how we do that and the corners, corners, all stiff and new. And there we go. Wonderful. That feels quite safe. Even for a, an expensive machine like this, so that's quite sturdy. Uh, that's sturdy too. And um, I think it definitely works. I would be I would feel very happy that my sewing machine my precious sewing machine is safe and sound in there so let's try and take it out again okay let's see how this works let's open that bring that round flip it open oh and there is a secret pocket in there where you could put your um cables uh, put them neatly away or anything else that you want to put in there and your pedal foot too plenty of room for that let's take it out let's pick it up here and pull it out and there we have it very very straightforward so marks out of 10 would I give marks should I give marks out of 10 yeah maybe yes um, 
it's got a nice construction, really good quality construction. If you could see it, you'd see all the, the sewing that's gone into this to, to protect it. The padding is good. The base is really good. I'm really pleased with that. It's a good size. I don't know if it's waterproof, but hopefully you wouldn't be going out in a, in a tropical storm, but you may do. Um, it, it, I'm guessing it might be shower proof at, at the very least. And um, I feel it's a 10 out of 10. It's, it's, it's a very good product. It's a marked improvement over the hard shell cases that they come with these days. So I, I think this is a really good and, and very comfortable way of carrying it. I think it's possibly um, better for you to carry it with a strap over your shoulder or, you know, with, with the handle. Much more ergonomic. That's the word I was looking for, ergonomic. So 10 out of 10. Right, next. Let's put that to one side. I'm looking forward to the circular sewing attachment, um, which is a, a pretty well um, a new thing I, I haven't seen before, really. Um, and you can use it on this machine, particular machines, get the right, right thing. And the way it works is you get your material, you take that little bit off, you put your material on it and put that on the top and that's, that's it away. And then this actually connects to your machine, this end, and you choose the distance that you want to make as a, as a diameter or radius, depending on how this is marked up, um, the size of the circles. And then as the material is fed through, the material rotates around that, that pin. So it's supposed to give you um, perfectly circular circles. So we shall try that. First of all, I'd like to explain that there are two different attachments for different sewing machines. So I have them both here. One is just entitled circular sewing attachment and the other one is for easy set bobbin models. Um, on the face of it they look very similar. There's two of these with the pins. There's a scale um, but they are quite different and this one for the easy set which is my machine um, it comes with a, a special screw in order to be able to screw it to the base. Another way you can tell the difference is to look at the packaging on the back. Take a really close look at the pictures that we have on here. I'll just move these into shot. Okay. And you'll see quite clearly there's something quite different about this one. And there's two tags there. This one also has two tags, but they are very different sizes. They're actual, it says actual sizes. And if all else fails, you can take your bobbin case cover and put it on top. Tongues on my case certainly do not match with the, the tongues that are on that picture. Whereas for this one, this one, they do match. I've got three tongues on here, three tongues. Although it only shows two on there, that one does match for this. Now, inside of the cover, um, there's some really handy, helpful information about how to, to use it. But I'm going to show you how now. So the first thing to do is to remove the cover. And the next thing I'm going to do is put the accessory into that position. So it just sat in where the cover has come off. Okay, let's uh, move that around a bit. Hold it in position, got it. Okay, a little bit more of a fiddle. You need a short screwdriver to screw it into place. Oops, there's nothing worse than working with props. There we go. You see, you can put it on there. There are two scales one scale is on inches, and the other scale is on centimeters on the other side. Um, and I'm going to move this along to about five centimetres in radius. So that from there to the centre point here of my 
sewing needle so from here to here is about five centimeters i'm not going to be too precise at the moment because i might use a decorative stitch i'm just going to clip that into place to tighten that into position nice and firmly i have prepared my canvas by ironing on two layers of iron-on stabiliser backing, um, that's, that's also by Janome, but um, you could use any other sorts of backing. And you need to stabilise it, and in particular, where the pin is going to go through, through the material, you need to stabilise that. Now underneath here is a very sharp pin, so if you take the lid off, you can see how sharp it is. Okay, uh, so you have to be very careful. I'm just going to bring along some material and bring it here. Oops, it's getting caught on the bottom. Prepare for that. I've already made a hole in this once, but let's um, let's go for it here. Stick that there. Now pop this on. Find a hole. Tricky to find the right hole there. I'm going to overlap and see what happens here. And it looks absolutely perfect and spot on. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to go all the way around twice. Now, of course, you have um, the odd hole where it comes through, but you should put some backing on there. And if you want to cover it up, depending on your material, you might have to sew over it or just use your finger to, to push it back and you won't, it won't be seen. But I'm going to do some decorative stitches now and see how that looks and how it performs. Now on this machine, I'm doing mode three, number 67, which is a bit of a shape. And we'll see how that does. Let's start it off. Oops, put my foot down. See how this overlaps. Okay, right. So you probably have to choose your stitches carefully. I know, know that I did that particularly well. Um, let's take this off now. Certainly for a first try it wasn't too bad. I think you can see there I just actually held the material for a moment which that, that was wrong. This looks like it was going to match up with the, the starting point there but I fluffed it at the end. So a little bit of practice, and this would look really quite quite good on your tablecloth or, or whatever. That That is really quite nice. Um, I think I'll do some lettering and see how that performs as well now. So I'm just putting Hello, I'm Lucy around the outside, and then I'll do it at a narrower radius and see how that looks. Well, I consider the result to be um, very beautiful, actually. Um, I haven't got this perfect, but it doesn't need to be perfect. The larger radius, obviously, the words are, are good. I've done a smaller radius. They're still readable, I think. But then as you get to a smaller radius, it just gets a little bit harder to define. So it's, it's obviously not good at the, the, the narrow, the small circles with, with text, but that's fine. And I think it's really, really interesting. It gives a beautiful result. And um, I think I'm going to experiment a little bit more and um, I'm going to do a little piece of artwork with this. First of all, um, a tip. I found the best thing to do was to make sure you had your threads right at the back. Long, long threads, very long threads right at the back out of the way. And then in order to safely put the material onto the pin, it is much easier to have this 
floating, first of all. So have it at its widest point, then it's much easier to feed the material in, um, particularly if you're going to go into the same hole in the centre. So that was my tip. And then once you've got this on top of your material, then you slide it into this, the size that you want and then clip it in place so that it's nice and secure. And then you're ready to go. And to remove it, obviously you do the reverse, you unclip this bit, so that clips quite hard. Move it out, take, take the lid off, take your material off, and don't forget to put that back on because it is a very sharp pin. And that's my tip for working with this particular device. I have to say, I love it. It's really easy to use. Make sure you get the right foot, the right accessory, um, and experiment to your heart's content. So I hope you've enjoyed the reviews so far. Um, there's a little bit too much to put into one review, so do come back next time when I'll complete the rest. So please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.